Hello everyone and welcome back to Mass Effect. In the last session, we completed Noveria, which was a very cool place with a very complicated layout. <laughs> and uh, we've just got back into the ship after that, and so, as is customary, we now need to talk to everyone, except except this guy, who never has anything yes, new to say, right? No. <laughs> Carry on, Presley. Never. But, yes, sir. Uh, a lot of people do, so... Uh, who's first? That's just the comm room, isn't it? Yeah, so. Down here. Let us see what people have to say. I'm sure Liara and uh, Rex, especially, will have some choice words for me. Rex was not happy with my decision at the end. Sup, bro. Let's stare at each other and not say anything. Anything you need, Commander? <laughs> Just trying to get a sense of where the crew's at. Thoughts? I didn't figure you'd have time to talk with all that's going on. There's got to be some xenobiologists who want to read about the Thorian. Wait. This is dialogue for after Ferros. Didn't I already talk to you after Ferros? The paperwork will keep. Something on your mind? I'm just looking for an ear. That a briefing wasn't the right place to say how ridiculous this is. Seems like every other race in the galaxy is wrapped up in their own problems. They don't want to see what's coming. Wanting to believe everything will be fine? Sounds like human nature to me. Yeah, I guess some things carry across species well enough. I should remember that after what happened with Vernus. Mm hmm? I think you'd carry a grudge over the crap you took from Vernus. Before I met Vernus. I'm trying to remember who Vernus who was. was. <laughs> I'm struggling. Who the fuck was Vernus? Superior and tried to tell us what to do. I mean, it's only been 26 years since first contact. That's not a lot of time to understand them. It was Vernus. Who made me see how human aliens are. They're not different or special. They're jerks and saints, just like us. Hell, by the time I got payback, I didn't even want it anymore. Uh, what payback did you get? I don't see you snapping very easily. What finally did it? He hurt Rana. Broke her arm. She reached for a glass of water instead of pulling it biotically. She just wanted to drink with Oh, Vernus was the dickhead you know? captain dude, I think. Like an idiot, I stood up. Didn't know what I was going to do, just something. And the Vernus one in charge of their training. Beat the crap out of me. Kept shouting how they should have bombed us back to the Stone Age. And that's when the knife came up. A military issue talent right in my face. I cut loose. Full biotic kick right in the teeth. Almost as strong as I can manage now. At 17, that's something. Okay. <laughs> you wanted to help a girl you cared for. That's a noble thing. Maybe my intentions were noble, but I... I lost control. I killed him, Shepard. Yikes. Snapped his neck. They probably could have saved him if they got him to an infirmary quick enough. But they didn't. Caused a stir when they shipped him home. Bot training was shut down. Kinetics folded a couple of years later. Wow, you so, single-handedly fucked them I over? I hated that Turian. I mean, if one ass was enough to judge a whole race, I'd hate humans too. Yeah, I mean, obviously you can't judge a whole group of people by the actions of a few, and especially not one. <laughs> a reasonable stance. Keep that level head and we'll do fine. Staying reasonable is about all we've got left. Everyone else in this galaxy seems to have gone out of their minds. Present company accepted, of course. Hmm. Okay, so that really seemed like something he would say after Ferros. So now does he have more to say about... Anything you need, Commander? Noveria? Just trying to get a sense of where the crew's at. Thoughts? We're all in for the duration. You can count on everyone to do their duty. Guess not. What's your opinion on the last mission? Killing Saren's, uh... What was Benezzi anyway? Second in command? Advisor? Anyway... It should set him back a bit. Friends sure with benefits? Sony's hurting though. Poor kid. Having to kill her own mom. Yeah. Any opinion on the Rachni? Off the record? If we had the option, I'd as soon have left it to the council. The council would have we fucking murdered it. Rachni war. I'm not sure we have any business getting involved. I mean, <laughs> the business we have is we were there and it was like our decision to make at that point. <laughs> we have the authority to do so as a spectre. And there's no, if we'd have left it to the council, they would have almost certainly gone, yeah, murder it. Fucking get that genocide going. So, no. We'll talk another time, Lieutenant. Big disagree, Caden. 
fucking get with the program here. <laughs> Let me guess, you have nothing new to yes, say. Yes, Commander. Is there like something Like always. Need? I should go. <laughs> Goodbye, Commander. I, I, she was, she was really fun to talk to, like, the first one or two times. She seemed cool, and then just never any new dialogue. Feels bad. She, like, actually made an impression on me when we first started talking, unlike... If you are here to talk about Benezia's death, you need not bother. She brought it upon herself. Unlike the dude that stands to the side of the galaxy map <laughs> with his two dialogue options that never change. He never made an impression. The doctor made an impression, but then she never... I, I thought she was going to be more of a character, and then she's just not. <laughs> um, she did bring it on herself, but that... Like, you feeling terrible about what happened and it being her fault are not mutually exclusive. So, you know, are you okay? Don't pretend it doesn't bother you. She was your mother. She was. But she was not. I prefer to remember Benezia as she used to be. Before she was corrupted by Sovereign's power. The best of your mother lives on in you. Her determination. Her intelligence. Her strength. That is kind of you to say. I appreciate your concern, but I am fine. Hopefully she passed on the fashion Benezia sense as well. Benezia <laughs> her path, just as I have chosen mine. I am with you until the end, Shepard. Good. I like talking with you, Liara, no matter what the subject. You have been very understanding with me, Shepard. Very patient. I appreciate that. I know there are some strange beliefs about my people. I am familiar with the legend of Asari promiscuity, but those rumors have little basis in fact. When one of my people joins with an individual from another species, it is a very deep and spiritual exchange. We do not enter lightly into a union. Uh oh. You make it sound almost mystical. A true union goes far beyond an ordinary melding. It is a connection that transcends the physical universe. Want to go embrace eternity with me? One. Thoughts and senses merge, identities intertwine. Memories and emotions weave themselves together, becoming entangled in a single, rapturous whole. Sounds like a good time. It is unlike any other experience. In some cases, it can be a truly life-changing event. <laughs> God, gotta get me some life-changing sex. Sounds amazing. Are you saying... No. Oh, no. Uh, I am not very good at this, am I? I'm sorry, Shepard. I am trying to explain why I have been so... reserved. The Union is more than just sex. It is the lifeblood of my species, the way we Asari evolve and grow as a society. That is why I have never... Uh, I mean, that is why we must choose our partners with great care. <laughs> Unbelievable! How dare you! How dare you not have been with anyone else! Tragic! I want you to be absolutely sure about this, Liara. I am only 106, barely an adult by Asari standards, and... I spend most of my time absorbed in my research. I never really thought about it. Not until I met you. You are very special to me, Shepard. But with all that's happened, Saren, the Geth, the Reapers, I do not know if we are ready for this. I feel like we are, but also that seems pushy. <laughs> so, just give her the space that she needs, I guess. These are dark times, Liara. Maybe once all this is over. I'm glad you understand, Shepard. There is too much at stake. We need to put aside our personal feelings and focus on stopping Saren. I wish it did not have to be that way. But we all have to make sacrifices. Let's let's talk about something else. Sure. Do you know why Benezia joined oh, with fuck, Saren? these are the same. Benezia, but I will remember... And oh wait, no, this has changed. Died. Not how she died. My mother was strong, kind, and beautiful. And now she is gone. Hmm. It was the same investigate option, but with different text. Are you going to be okay? You are kind to ask, Shepard. I do miss her. And I grieve for what happened to her. But I will not let my grief interfere with what we are trying to accomplish. Anything different with this one, then? I'd like to know more about the Asari. We were the first species, 
my people, no. although they seek to understand other species, no. it seems I should go. I should go. Goodbye, Shepard. Hello, Doctor. I should go. Uh, there's no one down there. Is anything? Is, is this room ever going to be used for anything ever? <laughs> It's like, we must make this somewhat symmetrical and have a room on this side because we have it on this side. Okay, what should we put in there? Nothing. <laughs> Never put anything in there. We're just going to have it as a room. Sure, I guess. I suppose not every room needs a purpose, but... Just like, I don't know, it seems there's merely for the aesthetic of having a door at either side. Commander, I... What can I do for you? Sup, bruh? Something bothering you? It's Aaron. I'm starting to wonder whether we'll ever find. We will. He's always one step ahead of us, and he's got those damn geth. Those damn geth like to die in front of me. We're getting close, Garrus. We'll find him. I wish I had your confidence. I just can't stand the thought of him getting away with everything he's done. He can't keep getting away with it. And if anyone can catch him, it's you. But if there's anything else I can do to help, anything, just tell me what you want me to do, and I'll do it. I understand your concern, but we'll find him. Just make sure you're ready to go when we do. Yes, sir. I'll be ready. Can I ask you something, Commander? Of <laughs> no, goodbye. <laughs> ah, the renegade path. What is it? Are you worried that the Council might be protecting Saren? Mm, I mean, they I don't really think so. Heels before. What if we find him, bring him back to the Citadel, and they refuse to act? Hmm. I mean, I can get where that's coming from, but I don't believe that is actually the case. Because, like, they've already stripped him of his Spectre status. They understand what's at stake here. Well, do they? They don't believe us about our vision, really, do they? But, like, clearly he is a huge threat. Even if they don't believe the Reaper part of it, then they can see, like, what he's doing aside from that. So I feel like... If we brought him back, they would he'd be getting locked up forever, or whatever. I don't know what sort of laws go into <laughs> sentencing here, but I mean, it's, if, if they have the death penalty in Turian culture, he'd probably get that, because he's like going around just fucking murdering left, right, and center, but, you know. I get the feeling this isn't a question. Speak your mind, Garrus. Well, maybe we shouldn't give them the chance, Commander. In my opinion, Saren's too dangerous to be kept alive. Too much could happen. He could escape, or the council might let him go. If we find him, when we find him, I say we make sure we stop him permanently. Christ, man, every conversation I have with Garrus, I'm reminded that he's actually pretty fucking bloodthirsty, isn't he? <laughs> he's like... Every every conversation we have, he's like, we should just murder them. <laughs> it's like that, that ship with the Doctor should just blow it out the sky. Then we get to the Doctor, let me fucking kill him. And then this... Let's kill him before we <laughs> capture him. I don't know, man. I feel like we probably will have to kill him. I don't see Saren as the kind of guy that's going to be like, all right then, hands up, I surrender. You got me. Fair and square kind of thing. I feel like if we back him into a corner, it's going to go to a fight and then, you know, fighting for our life. So, you know, last resort. <laughs> I definitely don't want to just... For, like, as my first port of call be murder the dude if there is another option, but I'm unsure that there will be another option. If Saren won't listen to reason, if he forces my hand, I'll kill him in a heartbeat. But only if it's absolutely necessary. But what's the point in keeping him alive? It just gives him an opportunity to escape or convince the council to listen to him. And what about the Geth? They might try to free him. We know more about Saren's plans than anyone. But what do we really know? If we just kill him, we lose the chance to find out. Yeah, I see your point. Do you really think there's more to know, other than the fact that he's a raving lunatic? Yeah, probably. Maybe, maybe not. But it's not a chance I'm willing to take. Garrosh, don't you know this yes, is a sir. trilogy, mate? Has no one informed you? There's two more games after this. <laughs> there's definitely, uh, there's definitely more to learn. <laughs> Commander? Sup. What's your opinion on the last mission? You mean the Rachni, right? They were dangerous, Commander. 
They proved that Let me guess, you were in favor of genocide. Oh, what a surprise. That wasn't my call to make. What a fucking shock. You know, you really should talk to Tassoni about her mom. She has to be hurting. Already did. Saying, Commander. Do you have a few minutes? She's going to turn this down, right? Sure, if you have time. Oh, no. I figured you'd be busy with tactical briefings and whatnot. Don't know what I think about us attacking today, of all days. Kind of an ill omen. Wait, what? Uh, today's Armistice Day? You mean on the anniversary of the first contact war? The end of it, yeah. My family always marks it. I'm the only Williams here. I guess you'd be the only other one interested in it. I'm interested. Seems like an odd thing to celebrate. That was 26 years ago. In our family, it's not really a celebration, more like an obligation. Don't tell me you don't know about my family. My commanders always find out. It's not in my files or something? Uh, uh, not that I've read, apparently. There's almost nothing in your files. Technical scores and a list of crap assignments. There's a reason for the crap assignments. I'm General Williams' granddaughter, the commander of the Shanxi garrison in the war. The only human ever to surrender to an alien race. Ah. <laughs> I see. That's why you drive yourself so hard. A Williams has to be better than the best, if only to avoid suspicion. That's what my dad told me the night before he retired. It takes a special kind of thick-headed to march into a job where your family's blacklisted. I did it anyway. I'm not gonna let our name go down with Arnold and Quisling. Granddad deserved better than that. <laughs> where's the where's the fucking investigate options for telling me who the fuck Arnold and Quisling are? What happened to your grandfather after the war? He was relieved of command as soon as Shan Shi was liberated. They brought him back to Earth in irons, but there was never a trial. They quietly demoted him and stuck him behind a desk. He retired a year later and spent the rest of his life working construction in the colonies. Sometimes we hear about attempts to get him exonerated in some official way. Nothing ever comes of him. As I recall, your grandfather held out for a long time. The Turians wrecked the orbitals in the first wave and occupied the major cities. They sat in orbit, dropping rocks on anything that moved. Granddad dispersed the troops, but when they went into the cities for supplies, the Turians would wreck a block to eliminate one fire team. Civilians were dying, his troops were starving, and he couldn't contact Alliance High Command. So he surrendered the garrison. Yeah, I mean, sounds like he made the smart choice. And it sucks that they did that to him, for sure, and it doubly sucks that they're apparently still blacklisting, like, Two generations down the line? Was she even... I guess she was probably alive, but she would have been a kid at the very least. Wait, no. First contact was only 26 years ago. Yeah. She must, she must have been... I don't know. How old does she look? She looks like early 20s, maybe. Like 23 or something. So she'd be like three years old back then. So yeah, I mean... Again, it's the whole holding future generations accountable for what previous generations did. It's like... Why? <laughs> she's she's not her grandfather. She is her own person. He refused to sacrifice his men just to save face for humanity. You planning to throw yourself on a sword to save face for him? Would it make a difference? He's gone now. Dad's gone too. And who would it impress? I'll never be good enough for the Alliance. So now you know. Gonna kick me off the ship, Skipper? Of course not. <laughs> but only because you're good with guns. No, you're, you're a part of the team. You're a valuable part of my crew, Williams. If I want an opinion from the head, I go to Elenko. When I want one from the heart, I go to you. Elenko is Caden, right? I also play a mean game of pool. But anyway, I've got things to do before we land. I'm sure you do too. Cool. Uh, I'm guessing, is, is there anything else? You have or? a few minutes to talk. One I'm sorry, Commander. No. I need to get... Dismissed, Chief. Cool. Sir. Well, that was interesting. Fucking R.I.P. All of that. <laughs> no reason to still hate aliens, though, Ashley. It was a while ago. But still. Shepard. So, you'd rather be a merc than help your people? I'm a fighter. It's what I do. Wait, what? where did this come from? Aren't you at all worried about what will happen to the Krogan? What the hell do you want me to do about it, Shepard? I'm tired of sticking my ass on the line and getting nothing for it. 
Oh, is he being... Oh, right. He, is he being salty with me because of the decision? So you're just giving up on your people? I gave up on fighting for a lost cause. I'm not like you, Shepard. I'm no hero. Bottom line, killing for credits simplifies things. You ever think about helping your people? I try not to. But there's a lot of Krogan mercs out there. I'm always running into them. Half the time I'm being paid to kill them. But that's just part of the job. You don't get to pick who your enemies are. Is mercenary a new option? How long have you been a merc? Long enough. I took my first contract right after I left my home system. It's good work, but doesn't kill you. I get the feeling you enjoy your work. Sure. You get to see the galaxy on someone else's credits, and most days end with a good fight. I've tried more organized fighting, private armies and such. How old are you, Rex? I don't actually know. I fight best on my own, or in very small groups. I don't like people relying on me, and I bloody well don't like relying on them. Fair enough. So long, Rex. He really doesn't have anything to say about the fucking... Rachni? 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 Shepard. I'm very surprised. Rex. I'm very surprised he has nothing to say about Noveria. Like, of all people. You would think he would have stuff to say. Him and Liara, the most. Feels like we're getting near the end, doesn't it, Shepard? With Saren, I mean. Hope so. It won't be much longer. One way or another, it'll all be over soon. You'll find the conduit before he does. I know you will. You have to. And after this is all over, when my pilgrimage ends, and I go back to my own people, I'll be proud to say I was a part of it. <laughs> this isn't about you. <laughs> We couldn't have done this. The renegade options just make me laugh, man. They're so nasty, like needlessly. A lot of treat quarians like second-class citizens. They just want us to go back to our fleet and disappear. But you've treated me just like everyone else on your crew, like an equal. That means a lot, and it says something about you. Whatever happens, I just want to say thank you for that. Aw, you're welcome. I'm gonna miss you when you go back to your own people, Tally. That won't happen for a while yet. I'll be right here anytime you need me. Don't worry, Shepard. We won't have to miss her for long, I'm sure. <laughs> There's no way that she won't be back. Uh, I'm pretty sure we've heard all of these, right? What was your father? Have we heard this one? It wasn't easy growing up. Yeah, we've heard that. But now I'm old enough to appreciate what he taught me. Like what? I should go. See you later. I should go. Something I can do for you, Commander. Carry on, Adams. Aye, aye, Commander. Keep on keeping on. All right. Good chats. So. So. What are we actually going to do today in terms of side missions? Well. We should probably go and see if we can kill a dude that I, uh left alive. Whereabouts was he? Uh, bum, 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 bum. He was... Amazon System Voyager Cluster. Amazon System Voyager Cluster. So long, Novaria. That is a cool motherfucking ship. It is not hard. Uh, it is not hard? <laughs> Sorry. 
180. It is very hard. <laughs> Where did I get not hard from? It is very hard to create a whole universe from scratch. And like, obviously it'd be hard even if it was just like writing it, but they've got to actually make it all work visually as well and come up with designs for all these places. Even things like ships and how ships would look. It's crazy. It's awesome. They've done such a good job. I love it. Right, now let's figure out which fucking planet was the one I could land on, because Lord knows I don't remember. Found it! Oh, right, it was a really pretty one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, who are we going with? Da da da! Go with Garrus and. Wifey. So, all right, uh, Garrus has some points. Damn, we've really got six level ups since I last used you. I'm sorry, baby. Let's give you the last two there, and then, uh, I mean, we may as well finish that off, right? Master damping, why not? And then we got three points there, so I guess we may as well shove that directly into decryption. Or we could go there. Or in fact, we could just do this. And just up your weapon damage. Because you've already got the max decryption, like, skill. So the last three here are only increasing it by a few percent. So in fact, let's just keep boosting your damage, I think. Sounds good. We're all good. Lovely jubbly. Right, Maparu. Uh, there's the homing beacon. Mercenary camp. Was it the mercenary camp? That we came out because we went in one side. We went into the base at one point and came out of it at a different point. And I was like, well, there's nothing here. And I returned to the Normandy. But there was, in fact, something there. This is what you guys were saying. There was, in fact, that dude there with a death wish. So I'm going to indulge him. I'm going to give him what his heart's desires. Do I say hearts? <laughs> hearts. All his hearts. Actually, I mean, I don't know. Do any, do any species in this game have two hearts? Any time lords out here? Oh, I see red dots. I see red dots. Now, the funny part is they also apparently took the Mako. The Mako? How do you pronounce it? I still don't know. Uh, and... Obviously, I just didn't notice, and now I have it, even though they're supposed to have it. So, uh, I mean, surprise. Surpr surprise. Surprise! Wee! Oh, he went flying, gotta love physics. Hello! Wee! How's it going there, friend? Wee! You, you feeling okay on this fine day? Wee! Haliat went through a lot of trouble to draw you here. A pity it ended like this, for him at least. Now that you're above ground, your suit radio has re-established connection with the Normandy. <laughs> oh, well, that's good. I'm really glad that my suit radio has re-established connection with the Normandy. It would be a shame if that were not possible. Time to get the hell out of here. Indeed. Oh, yes. Oh, look at that. Fantastic. And now it's gone. Yup. Okie doke. Okie doke. Oh, we can do this one now. Right, yeah, okay. Let's do that. Well, we've got the Rex one as well. Which one Which one should we do? Let's do this one. Let's do this one. Well... Yeah, all right. Let's do this one. <laughs> I'm like, I'm just, uh, I want to do this because it's, we were told to wait on it. So I'm curious what the reasoning for, what, for that was. But then I really want to do the Rex one because it's Rex and I love him. But yeah, we'll, we'll do this next. So Admiral Kahoku has given you the coordinates to a research facility run by the Cerberus Group. You need to investigate the planet Binthu to find out why Cerberus is unleashing alien monstrosities in the Attican Traverse. Imagine if it's Rachni. Imagine if Rachni, Rachni, uh, are in this mission. That would be quite the reason to put it off till later. 
Um, right. Uh, what am I doing? What am I doing? Return to Normandy. Yeah. I've already forgotten where it said to go in the fucking planet. <laughs> Why do I always forget? Uh. Oh, wait. Are we already in the Voyager cluster? Yangtze system. I think we're already in the Voyager cluster, aren't we? Yeah! Well, that makes the decision even better. Let's, uh, toddle on over here. What have we got? We've got the planet of cheese. Hot Jupiter with traces of sulfur. Okie doke. The planet of egg. That's the one. Uh, like most worlds, it only has been charted within the last 20 years by Alliance surveyors. No native ecology. Data about the world is brief and generic. Painting a picture of an unpleasant and uninteresting place. You hate to hear it. Boop. Boop. Uh, boop. Oh. Prothean data disk recovered. You detected a weak signal coming from the far side of the planet Alrumta. Joker brought the Normandy around and your salvage team picked up a small escape pod trapped in orbit. There was a long dead Turian inside along with a few personal items and a Prothean data disk. Alrighty. Uh, let's fucking go. Let's take... Do, do, do. Sure, we just had a heart to heart. You can come. Uh, and. Can we just bring everyone on the mission? I just want to bring everyone every time. What's the... What's the law behind why they can't come? Is it that the Mako is a fucking three-seater? Sorry guys, we just don't have the fucking seats for you. In our very, very bouncy car. Moving out. Moving out. Bit, bop, boop. Boop, bap. Woohoo! Wait, what? Enemy sighted? What the fuck are you on about? Did you just fucking point your gun at Tally and say enemy sighted? You lead, I'll follow. Jesus Christ, Ashley. Hmm, what are we doing? What are we saying? What are we talking? Uh, da, 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 da. Soldier? We're just given soldier? Yeah, let's go with that. And. Um. Sure. Six points for you. Okay, okay. Well, let's give you that. Uh. Do I give a shit about this stuff? Not. Really? Let's just do that. Sounds good. Alright. What's the map saying? Map saying research facility, research facility, research facility. Bunch of research facilities is what I heard. Um, sure. Well, I mean, let's just go there first. Oh, I've discovered what Ashley was saying enemy sighted for. I mean, she's got fucking good vision straight through a mountain, but sure. That is some impressive sight that you've got, Ashley.
Hello, peasants. I'm here to commit mass murder, probably. Unless you're friendly, but you're, you're never friendly. There's very, very rare occasions where you're friendly. And when my radar tells me you're a red dot, you're definitely not friendly. So, it's a very smart radar. It knows how you feel in advance. Oh, it totally is! It totally is fucking Rachni! Amazing! Amazing! They act. That is so, so... I'm really glad. Thank you. Thank you for telling me to not do this before Novaria. Because I assume that when I take this barrier down, it's going to tell me they're Rachni. And then it... Like, that was such a... That was a really cool moment in Novaria. I can't believe that they actually allow you... Like, why is that even a possibility? Why do they give you the option to do this? Oh. Hello. And here I was, just fucking looking around. But now you're gonna have to all die. Hello! Nice armor! It's a shirt! Fantastic stuff. You've eliminated the threat of this facility. Fucking hell, you guys were quick on the draw there. Barrier was down for about half a millisecond. Continue to one of the other nearby labs. You know what? They killed them so fast I couldn't actually see what they were called, which is quite funny. But yeah, why the fuck? Why the fuck do they open up that side mission? Looks like Cerberus has other bases on this world, Commander. You don't say. Why the fuck do they open up that side mission before Noveria? Like, they are clearly, they clearly have the capability to time gate missions behind other missions. Because, like, stuff in the Citadel wasn't there the first time, then we did some missions and came back and it was there, so, like, they have the ability to do that. So why would they, why would they not do that with this? That seems like a very important thing. <laughs> that was a, that was a reveal on Noveria, was, hey, Rachni is still alive. That's not good. Or, well, it's not good when they're mindless and attacking us. Should be fine with the with the queen, I think. I hope. Uh, revealed another Cerberus operation as well. Destroy that base too. Yeah, will do, lads. Okay. Yeet. Hello. Gotta say, the turrets have got some excellent detection systems. Well, I'll just fucking cop all three of those then, don't mind me. It's all part of my master plan to make them think that they're doing well. Because they've never heard of barrier technology. None of them have. I'm the only person in the in the universe that actually understands uh, barrier technology. Because nobody else nobody else thinks to put it on, you know. So it's a shepherd exclusive. Ha! Huh. And then these are. Wait, are they husks or are they Thorian boys? I think they're husks, right? Yeah. Speaking of husks, you're about to become one, Mr. Shirt User. Wait, when I when I get up, as soon as I get up, you're about to become one. Oh, never mind, they already got you. Sucks to suck. Sucks to suck indeed. Nice immunity. Very nice immunity. Stop, 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 stop. Excellent stuff. Hello. Oh, they are Thorians. I thought it was uh, masks, but sure. There were no sign of there was no sign of Kahoku among the creeper corpses. He must be at one of the other labs in the area. I wonder what Cerberus horrors will find at the next base. No, guys, him, he was one of the Thorian creepers. He he turned into them, right? Right? Yeah, that's what happened. Yeah, let's go with that. Gimme, gimme, gimme. 
Trogan armor. Lovely jubbly. Honestly, these guys should just have better fucking passwords on their doors. They're like, damn, let's build this base out here. No one will ever know. But if anyone does find out, let's make sure that our door is just open and available for anyone to come into. And let's really hope that they don't like murdering us. Pretty. This sky is really pretty as well. It's not like, it's not like mind blowing. Like some of the, some of the like the, the really red sky was like a mind blowing sky. But this is just like, I don't know, the clouds and the different coloring. It's just like a chill kind of pretty pretty. Uranium. Yummy, yummy. Uh, right. Still still going to where the flag is. Didn't need to move it. One of these big boys. One of these large and in charge boys. Is there anything? Aha! Prothean Pyramid Recover. A few children's toys and some ragged clothes stuffed inside the top of this monument, along with a Prothean data disc. Interesting. I wonder what kind of toys. Prothean kids played with back however many or was it like 50,000 years ago or something? How far had toy technology come along? On my way. Hello everyone! If you've been trying to contact your friends recently, I may know why you haven't been getting a response. I'll be right with you to inform you of the reason. After I take your shit. Okay, so the reason that you haven't been able to get a response from your friends. Oh my god, really? <laughs> well, I hate to say it, but it's that they met me. I've been hit by this fucking thing every single time. It's the same layout, with the same people in the same place, and I get hit by it every single time. Damn, they really should rename that ability, huh? Immunity. More like... More like... DEAD! Ooh, got him! Ooh, kill him! Well, that is fucking unfortunate. That is incredibly, incredibly unfortunate. Just trying to get a better look. It looks like his eyes are moving. Am I going insane or his or are his eyes moving? Can you... Like, you have to look very closely. This motherfucker's not dead. Those are some moving eyes. That is, that is creepy as shit. You check for a pulse but find none. Admiral Goku is dead, apart from his eyes, which are still alive, controlled by some phantom brain, which is somehow still working. Despite the ferocity of the creatures he was sealed in with, there are no signs of trauma on his corpse. The needle marks on his arm suggest a different means of execution. Oh God, it's Admiral Goku. 
Excellent observation, Ashley. Wow, feels bad. Well, don't worry, I massacred a whole bunch of people. Was it just fucking, like, pure chance that I came across him last, or is he always in the final one you check? I don't know if they randomize it at all, or, well, not randomize, but if, if they set it so that you have to visit all three to find him, or if I could have just waltzed in here first. Unsure. But, uh, F's in chat for my dude, Admiral Kahoku. What a guy. We will remember him. And last but not least... Biddly bit, bam boop, biddly boopy, whoopy doopy. Yum, 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 yum. Okie doke, that's everything. Right, 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 yes. Good, good. Oh, this is, wait, this is, oh. A side mission that leads to another side mission. Cerberus has been conducting illegal genetic research in an effort to create an unstoppable army. You found Kahoku dead in one of their bases and now you are the only one who can stop them. Destroy the main Cerberus facility. You've found the location of a major Cerberus facility. Head to Nepheron in the Columbia system of the Voyager cluster to destroy it. Sure thing. Oh, hello, assault rifle. Uh, Tully, you... Are you assault rifle? No, you're pistol shotgun. Ashley, however. Wait, Ashley's shit is already better? Oh. I don't remember giving her the best shit, but uh, I guess I did. Well, in that case, it's all mine. Fucking gimme gimme. So he's got a better shotgun. If, is, there, is there even a better shotgun in the game? This one is so fucking good. Doesn't look like it. Uh, anyway, back we go. Let's go take down these pricks. <laughs> 